Welcome back again to the Code 5 Gaming YouTube channel. So, last episode we had part 1 of Inheritance from Layers of Fear. It brought a whole new look at the whole story that's been going on from Layers of Fear. So I hope you'll grab your snacks, and grab your drinks, and join me for the last part. That was rude, wasn't it? I call you Ferdinand. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Hmm. Can I go in here? Oh wow. This definitely puts a new perspective on the game. Going on in here. Oh. Hmm. Really did a number on this place in my damn crowns. Hey, we we fucking talked about this. None of them baby dolls. None. Oh, well, it's awfully dangerous. X marks the spot. There's treasure. There's not treasure. Okay. Squeeze on through here. That's it, bring it on. I'm gonna fuck you up, baby doll. Oh. Uh, my favorite flavor of crown is personally tequila lime. I'm like two foot nothing. I don't know if I would have kicked that thing. Holy sh... Oh, monovision or not, that fucked with my eyesight. Do I keep walking this way or do I turn around and... Oh no! My acid trip is out to get me again. Okay, that was. Ow! Oh, hey, princess. I didn't know you were out here. No, no, it's all right. Daddy just tripped. You know, clumsy old thing. Like... Oh, there, there. You don't need to worry. Daddy's just tired. So very tired. Alrighty then. Butler Solo still around. Globe. Nice.
<laughs> and down we go. Let's let's see. Nothing yet. One more round, why the hell not? Ah, oh, the thingy. Sound. Ooh, that's kind of a kick ass globe. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Second piece. A little rude. Don't want to be catching the house on fire or anything. Or possibly in badly at all. Yeah, like this. I didn't do it. Let's blame it on the dog. No, we can't blame it on the dog. He's already getting food enough. Ah, your last piece. Don't land in the fire. Rude. <laughs> I'm one of those guys that likes to collect shit in video games, and you just caught my collectible on fire. I gotta, like, snatch it before I hit. Knock some shit over on Twitter. Ah, somebody stabbed the globe. Is that this? Aha. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, man. Alright, let's run back around. See if they did there. Thinking like the big person, not the little kid. Ooh, what's this? My doggo. Look at him. Such a big doggo. Alright, now let's I guess, squeeze back out of here. Down on an empty cupboard, pictured of Doggo, creepy ass shadow cast onto the cupboard. <sighs> now back to what we all hate. Rough cardio day. Ooh, can I have a knife? 
Nope, can't have a knife. I have a feeling I can't go out this door. Lock? No. Really? That's how you all gonna do me. Oh, hey there, young lady. Shouldn't you be in bed? It's all right, you can stay. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Well, she does to me. That was sweet. Shit. Uh, do I jump over? Is that what's, is that what's gonna happen? Oh no, no, new door. I heard a fly. <gasps> My friend! You look like shit, bro. Can I knock this over? Yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nothing happened. Weird. That's locked. Vengeance is mine. Ooh, a key. Yoink. And here we are again. Yay for multiple choices. I'll go this way this time. Sounds like kind of squishy in here. Why do I oddly feel this isn't from a kid's perspective, but a rat's perspective? Oh, yeah. I get over there, I'm gonna Mortal Kombat, your little ass. Yep, here we go. <laughs> about to get this damn doll in a moment. Push these apples out of my damn way. What am I? What do I gotta go back here? Ooh, birthday cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear. Did you fucking forget my name? They fucking forgot my name. What? I don't think it's gonna let me over there to kick that doll's ass. There we go. Oh. Whoa! It's a little close, don't you think, Bucket? Must be something good in this drawer. If I can shut the other ones. Ah, I see what they did here. Clever. I like it. Ball. Oh! Anybody afraid of heights or anything? Yeah, I'm on, yeah, I'm on my way up there. I'm like, mm. Should have known they were gonna put dolls in this one too. You think it's funny?
Bread the cake. Are you out of your mind? What? You said there was gonna be a party. I just started a bit early. Whoops. We're gonna go through all my birthdays so I can just reflect in my daddy issues. Oh shit. A little wobbly there. Yeah, you, you keep this shit up. And you get the whole Sour Patch Kids and everything at you. This one's gonna be perfect. It has to be. I'm gonna prove you wrong. All of you. What? Not not now, Princess. Go play with your diamonds or your crayons. Daddy's very busy. Motherfucker, you just yelled at me about my crayons not too long ago. Alright, where's that fucking doll? Look here, big bad wolf. I ain't got time for this platformer game shit. I'm after a doll, if you don't mind. Oh. Um... Excuse me. Hey, get back here, little bitch. No, I'm... Doggo, get her for me. Yeah, get her for me, doggo. God, I'm moving so slow. This is so... Doggo. Now, come on. It's not cool. Hi, buddy. Oh, what the... What the hell did you do? Oh, you didn't mean to. Well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? It'll just magically unbreak because you didn't mean to. Go on, get out of here. Go to your room and break shit in there. Just take all your toys and smash them one by one. And keep at it. Maybe you'll finally get good at something. I'm gonna stab his ass in the neck with the bottle. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, okay, which direction are we going? Can I play on the couch? No? Okay. Do I... Is that door here? Handle? Door handle? No door handle? It doesn't look like there's really a door on this. Oh, there is, but... Wow, that's really hard to see. Okay, what else we got? Painting. I hope you can all see decently, because right now the game like legitimately has some weird. Okay, there we go. We just do weird lighting this time. All right, let's go find Daddy's paint room and fuck up his painting, because he's being a dick. I do. Hi, kitty. How are you? Yeah, the DLC is 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 something. Oh no, kitty's tail. Pin the tail on the cat. Happy kitty. Okay, we need to find need to find Kitty's wheel. Right. Circus act my ass across here to the table. Na 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 dun, 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 dun. Got this. 
Uh, anybody seen the kitty's wheel? Oh, I think that's the jar that had my mom's eyeball in it, isn't it? Oh, it's got a couple eyeballs in it. Would you look at that? Would you, would you just look at it? Oh yeah, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Yoink. I think I need that for the for the cat. Oh, yep, saw that coming. A kid does that shit all the time. Kitty, I found your front tire paw thing. Happy kitty? Hey, beggars can't be choosers, okay? Don't be an ass cat. What the... <laughs> you chill here, eerily, in the lamplight. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go find out what to do for a wheel. Oh, ow. Culture guys just busted me in the face. Okay. <sighs> Alright, kitty. I'm, I'm looking. God. I start calling you Cecil. There's something else on the table now. You want to use an eyeball as a wheel, kitty? Is that what you want? A plate. Can I put a plate in? Can I still grab it? Well, maybe, maybe one of the gears. Maybe I should actually look in cabinets. Oh, yoink! All right, it's trying to fall off this damn thing this time. Nope, there I go. I don't, I don't think that's actually for me steering the child. By the way, I think it just falls. Oop! Another drawing. Look at that. All right, Cecil, try that. Yeah, nice, right? Okay, is there anything else? There's crayons here. Now can I use a plate? No, nope. okay. Balancing act my ass across here again. Can I steal another gear? No. Uh-huh, I see you up there. Not you, trippy painting. Weird, by the way. Not a lot of dexterity to me, I guess. All right. If this doesn't work, you're just fucked. Good kitty. Is that better? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll follow you. You're sick! You're insane! You're not thinking straight! You're right! I am sick. I'm sick of you not being there for us. We need you. I need you. When was the last time you slept with me? Christ, when was the last time you even touched me? 
Do you know what that does to me? To, to know that my own husband is disgusted with me. Come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. Thank you, Kitty, with your magical crazy powers of force fieldness. <gasps> Kitty has kittens. Bye, Kitty. Bye, kittens. I don't have a wave button. Sorry. Have a good one. Something got into mommy's eye, that's all. You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you. More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. An anchor weighing him down. You know what? More ambiance. Fuck the flashlight. Hashtag fuck flashlights. We ain't scared. Um. I guess my flashlight scared. It turned itself back on. Remember that being there. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Are you in Narnia? Why won't you help me? Oh, you're just like your father. You don't care about me. You probably wish I was dead. Does it still play my jams? No? Anna? Well, that sucks. I get it. Oh, Is anybody else getting kind of a penny dreadful vibe from the music right now though? Excuse me, Ma. I'm just stepping all over your paintings. I had to scan the room. You all witnessed it. There are currently no fucking dolls in here.
All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, My bad. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. Hello, I'm right here. Look at me. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar. The hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air. <laughs> its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. <laughs> the Trying to keep staring. breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hag was near, just outside of you, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight. But I'm curious now. Lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt a sudden urge to run away. But fought it with all her will. For she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dark. It was almost over. And there. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. That was a pretty shitty story, asshat. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world. Unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Well, alrighty then. No dolls. Don't see any dolls. Alright. I spoke too soon. I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. man driven insane with sadness and guilt trapped in this house a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies
It was this house. A place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Big thanks to everybody that joined us here on the Code 5 YouTube channel. Had a blast with this series and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. If you want more content like this, make sure to comment down below and tell us something you'd like to see. If you've enjoyed everything so far, then by all means, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave all your comments down below.